Plutopia is a very interesting short with a very unusual treatment of Pluto. This is a 1951 short directed by Charles A. Nichols, and we have a brilliant voice cast including James MacDonald as Mickey Mouse and the brilliant Pinto Kalvig as always voicing Pluto. And in this one, Mickey goes on holiday to Camp Utopia. He takes Pluto with him, but realises when he gets there that dogs need to be muzzled and they need to be kept on a leash at all times. So Pluto has to go outside of the cabin to sleep. And as he drifts off to sleep, he finds himself in his utopia, his Plutopia. Get it? And while he is there, we have some very interesting dream sequences. There's this one... I won't spoil it too much, but we get to meet this cat who we've seen before. I really love the animation style of this cat. I don't consider it to be a canon Disney cat, but this cat is like demanding that Pluto bites him and Pluto's being fed all of these delicious foods. And while he is asleep, he is in his utopia. And it's interesting to see the kind of scenarios he comes up with. And it's a stark contrast to the muzzled life. And I, I enjoyed that aspect of it. I thought it transitioned from the real world to Pluto's dream world really effectively and back and forth. Mickey Mouse in this obviously made it a little bit more awesome because Mickey Mouse is brilliant. But I, I was quite surprised that Mickey quite readily muzzled Pluto. I would have expected Mickey to either kick up a fuss or even leave the campsite entirely and go somewhere that favoured dogs. Because can it be, can it really be a utopia if the dogs are muzzled? To me, that is not utopia. It's very contradictory. So I'm surprised they took that direction. But once you get over the fact that that's the decision that was made, what they have put forward has been executed very well. The animation I really like, the animation of the cat is... Well, it's confusing because I'm a big cat fan. So to see this cat not just being submissive to Pluto, but also actually commanding. Can you be submissive and command that somebody bites you at the same time? I don't think that makes a lot of sense. That's definitely an oxymoron. But you know what I mean. Seeing this cat asking to be bitten and giving in to Pluto was very interesting because I'm a big cat fan and I don't really want to see this little cat getting hurt. But at the same time, it's an interesting dream sequence. Plutopia is very enjoyable. Uh, not my kind of utopia at all, but definitely I can see what Pluto was thinking and where his head was at. Mickey's actions were not what I would have expected, but the animation style is really pleasing. I love Mickey's outfit. He's definitely dressed for vacation. He's got a little cap on. and He's wearing uh, a t-shirt for once and different coloured clothing, which is always an interesting thing to see, to see our beloved Sensational Six in different clothing. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the forests, oh, the forestry, the trees, the depth. The depth perception is amazing. Absolutely loved it. Very well animated. Really good narrative. Not exactly flowing the way I would have expected it to, but still enjoyable. Plutopia is definitely one that's worth watching.